All right, I people to Shakespeare, and I'm here to do uh, unboxings for you guys today of all of the Dragon Ball Z Blu-ray steelbooks that were released, I think, last year and this year through Funimation and everything. Um, just quick disclaimers for all of these. The masters for the video elements are not that good within these sets. They are the same uh, really badly DNR'd, uh, color-corrected, color-enhanced, oversaturated, um, really badly done remasters that Funimation has been giving us for the last seven years at this point. Actually, eight, because the seasons, the original Blu-ray season set started in 2013, just about seven years at this point. Um, and these are the same masters that were in the 30th anniversary Blu-ray set, um, that Funimation released two years ago. So, yeah, if you thought that Funimation wasn't going to try and recoup some cost, or recoup more cost, and re-release those masters onto, like, onto discs and in new sets and everything, you're really stupid. However, if you plan on buying these sets, wait for a good sale. I got these on Amazon uh, six out of the nine sets I got for the buy two, uh, get one free sales, or buy three for the price of two sales that Amazon has every so often, um, and then the last three I got for partly discounted prices, and then I got an extra thing for them, so, or with two of them, so... I generally recommend getting anything Funimation releases in terms of Dragon Ball Z on sales or secondhand, because, ooh, do I not recommend actually giving Funimation a lot of money for these sets? These sets are not really great, but unfortunately, these are now the best way to own Dragon Ball Z on home media. Um... Because do not buy the orange bricks. The cropping on those is terrible. And the DDNR is, in a sense, worse than the, any of the Blu-rays. The color correction is not that good. And, I don't know, it's just not that great. Um, don't buy the season Blu-rays in regards to the original releases from 2013 to 2014. Because those are cropped as well. Even though they have, I would say, slightly better DNR, like, there's more, there's more care put into the DNR and everything, and then, um, just, uh, just, yeah, don't, um, or, and then, uh, yeah, and these have all of the, um, special features that were in the, uh, season Blu-rays just put onto the special features discs that are in most of these sets, so... You have nothing to lose by buying these over the season Blu-rays, unless you maybe want to save a little bit of money. But again, look for a good sale for these, because, yeah. The only good thing, the only saving grace I can say about these are the audio transfers and then the packaging. And that really sucks that I have to say that. But, yeah. Um, or you can just buy Dragon Ball Z Kai. Like, better masters, better fucking English dub. Um, uh, and just overall cheaper and more worth the money than these are, but yeah. Although, and it's a, it's a cut that, even with Kai the Final Chapters not cutting out as much fill as it should have, um, it's still a good cut of the, or a good recut of the series, and, you know, like I said, better English dub than anything Dragon Ball Z had gotten. So, yeah, even when Dragon Ball Z's dub was okay, it still wasn't that great. So, yeah, because there's always something that fails it. But yeah. So, before I start looking at these packages, I want to take a look at these backings, uh, which one of the reasons it took me a bit to do this video is because I was looking for the first three season sets of these, because I didn't remember where I put them, and luckily, I found them. So we got the one for season one, which has episodes one to thirty-nine. You got Vegeta right there. It includes the Saiyan, the complete Saiyan saga, Goku versus Vegeta, and then a description of the set. You got some screenshots of the set. Special features, textless opening and ending songs. 
And then this goes for all of them in regards to the uh, discs and everything. The, re the regions A and B, the videos in 1080p, HD 4x3, HD native. Uh, audio is in Dolby True HD, English dialogue with Japanese music 5.1, then Dolby True HD US br English broadcast version 2.0. And as, as I said in the individual unboxings for these, um, in regards to that, um, it's not necessarily the original dialogue recordings from when they aired the show on TV. It is the redubbed dialogue um, that uh, has the actors that they brought in specifically for these or for when they were redubbing stuff to have a more consistent dub and then um the actors that were in the video games for so many years until they replaced them during kai's dubbing so yeah um and then the original japanese mono with subtitles in english special features are in 1080p hd 4x3 slash 69 hd native and 480 standard definition W True HD English 2.0, W Japanese original Japanese mono, subtitles in English, series runtime 925 minutes, special features runtime 3.5 minutes, TVPG, Toei Funimation, and all that. Then we look at season two's um, set. Same stuff, episodes 40 to 74. You got Goku right there. Contains the first half of the Frieza saga. Fate hangs in the balance. A description. Then you got more screenshots. Um, Inside Dragon Ball Z interview with Christopher R. Sabat. Inside Dragon Ball Z interview with Sean Schemmel. Justin Cook shares his headshot collection, Texas opening and endings. I don't know why just that makes sense to have for Justin Cook, but whatever. Uh, again, same stuff for the transfers. Series runtime, 835 minutes. Special features runtime, 50.5 minutes. And all that. And the stuff for the third season contains the final half of the Frieza saga. Can the Spree of Terror be stopped? Yeah, Freezer right there. Episode 75 to 107. And uh, screenshots. Inside Dragon Ball Z interview with Gen Fukunaga, the guy who founded Funimation. Inside Dragon Ball Z interview with John Bergmeier, the guy who plays Tien. Uh, and is a scriptwriter for the newest dubs of Dragon Ball. Look back at the Hummer tour with Sunny Strait. Texas opening and endings. Same stuff for the disc. Uh, series runtime, 830 minutes. Special features runtime, 53.5 minutes. We have Season 4 with Trunks right there. Episodes 108 to 139. Includes the complete Garlic Jr., Trunks, and Android Sagas. Legends Never Die. The description. Got more uh, screenshots. Inside Dragon Ball Z interview with Matthew O'Hara. Inside Dragon Ball Z interview with Danielle, or Daniel um, Manchilla? Manchilla? I think it's Manchilla. From the Vault, Goku vs. Vegeta featurette. From the Vault, the world of Dragon Ball Z. Texas opening and ending songs. Uh, series runtime, 755 minutes. Special features runtime, 86.5 minutes. And all that. Uh, season 5 with Cell right there. Episodes 140 to 165. Includes the Imperfect Cell and Perfect Cell sagas. A Perfect Storm is Brewing. Description of the set. More screenshots. Special features, Inside Dragon Ball Z, interview with Sunny Strait, Inside Dragon Ball Z, interview with Meredith McCoy, Toei Tour, Texas opening and endings, uh, series runtime, 615 minutes, special features runtime, 51 minutes, and all that. And season 6, episodes 166 to 194, includes the complete Cell Saga, or Cell Game Saga. We have Goku right there, a deadly new challenger has arrived, in the description of the thing, and then more screenshots. Special features, Inside Dragon Ball Z interview with Eric Vale, Inside Dragon Ball Z interview with Cynthia Coranz, Dragon Ball Z trivia, series runtime, 685 minutes, special features runtime, 51 minutes, and all that. And season 7 with Piccolo right there, episodes 195 to 219, includes the complete Great Salmon and World Tournament sagas, Let the New World Tournament Begin, the description of the set, some screenshots. Special features, Inside Dragon Ball Z, interview with Justin Cook. Inside Dragon Ball Z, interview with Nathaniel Harrison. Dragon Ball Z card game, past, present, and future. Texas opening and ending songs. Uh, series runtime, 565 minutes. Special features runtime, 83 minutes. And all that. And season 8 with Vegeta right there. Episodes 220 to 253. Includes the complete Bobbity and Majin Buu sagas. 
The deadly monster must not be awakened. Description of the set, some screenshots, special features inside Dragon Ball Z, interview with Kyle Bear, inside Dragon Ball Z, interview with Kara Edwards, Dragon Ball Z, coming to America, Texas opening and endings, series runtime, 775 minutes, special features runtime, 83.5 minutes, and then season 9 with Vegeta right there. Season 9, episodes 254 to 291, includes the exciting conclusion to the Dragon Ball Z series. And then the final battle to save Earth is here. Description of the set, more screenshots, special features, textless opening and ending songs. Series runtime, 875 minutes. Special features runtime, 3.5 minutes. So yeah. He's got all of that right there, and that took 10 minutes, my god. Anyways... So here we got season one with Vegeta, a nice blue background and everything, and Vegeta on the other side again. Here we go with the discs, uh, just to show this. They repurposed artwork from the previous season set Blu-rays. Yeah, so we got all the discs that have about ten episodes per disc in this set. One, two, three, and four. And then Vegeta right there, battle damage. So, yeah. We got Season 2 with Goku right there. And then Super Saiyan Goku right there. And uh, we got the discs. Vegeta right there. I can just recognize these from the uh, Season 7 Blu-rays. Uh, so, yeah, these have about nine episodes or so. Two, three, and four Goku again right there, which I will just say it's, I don't mind them reusing the artwork because it is good artwork. They did commission Toei to make it for them, so I don't, I don't begrudge them using it at all or reusing it when it comes to later releases, and they did put it in that um, art book that came with a 30th anniversary set, so yeah. So season three with Frieza, right there, and this, uh, some of this artwork is actually recreations, like newly drawn versions of the artwork that they used for the orange bricks, um, which is interesting. Like, they even used the same characters that they used for the orange bricks for these, so, yeah. And we got Frieza again, right there. We got the discs, which have about seven or eight episodes per disc. We got Frieza right there, again, that's from the Season set. Um, we got Frieza again right there. Oh yeah, and uh, discs one, two, three, and four. Uh, man. So you got season four with trunks right there, which is nice, and it's nice black. Season three of purple, season two of orange. Uh, and then trunks right again, or trunks again right back there. We got the discs, which have about nine episodes or so. We got Trunks vs. 18 right there, which, um, that's reused from the season sets. So, discs one, two, three, and four. And it's actually really interesting that they use, uh, Trunks right here in terms of this being a piece of artwork that they're using. Because this version of Trunks doesn't appear in the series. This is from the BoJack movie, which is, that's just funny to me that they decided to use that. We got Trunks again right there. But yeah, that's... That is honestly from the BoJack movie. So yeah. This is a recreation from a shot I think was used for History of Trunks, but I'm not too, too sure. We got Season 5 with, um... Cell with this nice, like, darker purple than the purple that was used for Frieza, I believe. Yeah, Frieza's is a lighter purple. So yeah, he got Cell right there, uh, side, and the back with Cell again right there. So here we go with the episode, with the discs. They have about eight episodes per disc, maybe nine. You got Piccolo and Seventeen right there, which I believe that's also used from the covers of the season set Blu-rays. And there we go with Cell right there. Being all cool and everything. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta get that. I gotta get this replaced or something. But yeah. 
course that falls on the floor. Okay. So here we go with another set with Goku again. This is a more reddish orange than the previous orange. Goku in Super Saiyan form. Then you got Goku again right there. And then we got the discs, which have about nine episodes per disc, it looks like. We got Goku and Gohan doing the Father Son Command Man against Cell, which that is definitely reused from the season sets. Um, so yeah. Disc one, two, three, and four. And <laughs> the disc or the art right here is the same for disc four, which is just a special features disc. Which I don't necessarily mind special features discs if they're if a company is gonna do that for their home releases. Um, so here we go with season seven with Piccolo. This is a Purple that's in between the purple used for Cell and Frieza. More akin to Piccolo's Gi. So yeah. We got Piccolo right there. Again on the back. It's interesting. Yeah. It's really interesting how the anime colors Piccolo and Gohan stuff. The manga has their um their belts and their wrist guards as um red. But the anime has Gohan's colors be all blue and Piccolo's colors be a mix. So yeah, it's really weird. So, so here we go with the discs. They have about eight episodes, it looks like, per disc. We have Great Zaman, Videl, and Spopovich right there, which that's definitely reused from the season sets. So disc one, two, three, and four. We got Piccolo again right there, which, yeah. <laughs> for that was used on disc three we got season eight which is this nice golden yellowish color for vegeta and then you have vegeta on the back again or again on the back and discs it looks like they have about nine episodes per disc and right here you have majin vegeta with Bobbity and Deborah right there that's definitely reused from the season sets as well so you got disc one two three and four. And right here, we have a Geo right there, which again used on disc four. And then finally, season nine with Vegito right there and a nice, uh, more like lavender kind of purple. I don't know why they just didn't go with like, I don't know, a mix of blue and orange or something like that, or maybe a golden color like it was on Vegeta's. Purple is, weirdly enough, the most used color for these sets, and I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but yeah, so, then on the back you got Vegito again, which, they still spell in the U.S. way, in Kai, and I think, I think Dragon Ball Z Kakarot as well, they reverted the name to how it's spelled in the Japanese version, which is... B-E-G-E-T-T-O, which doesn't make any sense in English because Goku's Saiyan name is rendered as Kakarot as opposed to Kakaroto, but yeah. So here we go with the discs. The discs have about nine episodes here as well. Then on the back you got, or on the inside you got, here you got Goku doing a spirit bomb against Kid Buu, which was definitely from the season sets as well. Uh, so you got disc one, two... Three and four. And you got Vegito again right there powering up. So, yeah. It's really interesting that they have these on the insides because you can't take off the steel book packaging to get at the case to reverse that at all. But, yeah. So, that's basically it for all of the Dragon Ball Z Blu ray season steel books. So,. Yeah, if you're, again, if you're looking to pick these up, wait for a good sale on something like Amazon or whatever, or a good discount for all of them. Don't pay full price for these. They're not worth full price. Um, I'm just saying that right now. So, yeah. So, I really don't have much else to say. Link to the description on my shit. Subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one.